Do you seriously wonder, Mr. President, why this is the first time in decades that America has seen this level of violence? It's you who have created the hate and the division. You've tried to divide us more than any other figure in modern history. And now you want me to stop the violence that you helped create. Uh, it's hard listening to that. Uh, let's bring in Kaylee McEnany, White House Press Secretary. Uh, Kaylee, welcome back. So the Thank mayor's you. blaming President Trump for 90 days of violence in Portland. Does he accept the blame? No, that is a preposterous assertion. Uh, what is responsible for the violence is this deeply irresponsible defund the police movement. And when you go back to the Obama administration, it was none other than Jim Comey who identified the Ferguson effect, which is when there's this rush to judgment, this criticism of police officers, they pull back. Um, and what we've seen with defund the police is when you literally get rid of police officers, there is an uptick in violence. It's what we're seeing in Portland. Mayor Wheeler is responsible. He's not charging individuals. And by contrast, uh, the DOJ has charged 74 individuals with federal crimes. So we're doing all we can, but until he accepts our help, uh, there's a limit to what we can do. Yeah. Kaylee, what's going on with the Joe Biden campaign? Because it, uh, we've gotten some conflicting information. What is that music back there? Is there something going on at the White House? It's very odd. We're trying to figure out what this music is. I wondered if you could hear it. Yeah, we can yeah. hear it. <laughs> kind of sounds like the good humor man, but maybe not. Um, so what's going on with the, um, with the Biden campaign? Because last week, the former vice president told David Muir he was going to go ahead and run the campaign from home, not leave. Then he decided, you know what, I'm going to leave after Labor Day. And now he's going to be going today to Pittsburgh to make a speech about Kenosha. If you're going to make a speech about Kenosha, why don't you go to Kenosha? Yeah, one would think that would be the case. Here we go again, Democrats ignoring the state of Wisconsin as they did in 2016. This president shows up. Uh, he showed up this weekend in Texas. He showed up in Louisiana. He's showing up in Kenosha tomorrow. Uh, this president is out and about reopening the country, demonstrating his respect for the American people by actually going uh, to places where Americans are hurting. He'll always show up. That's what this president has done for four years, and he'll continue to do. Kaylee, we'd also like to get your thoughts on the fact that on the president's upcoming visit to Wisconsin, the Democratic gover governor is telling Trump not to come. Governor Evers is saying, I, along with other community leaders who have reached out, are concerned about what your presence, meaning the president's visit, will mean for Kenosha and our state. I am concerned your presence will only hinder our healing. I'm concerned your presence will only delay our work to overcome division and move forward together. Kaylee, what are your or the president's thoughts on, again, a preposterous, as you put it earlier, assertion by the governor to this? Yeah, that this president will go to Kenosha, Wisconsin. He loves the people of Wisconsin, and he looks forward to speaking directly to them and unifying the state. And when you look at what this administration has done, Minneapolis uh, was a place of violent riots. Then all of a sudden, the National Guard came in, and we saw peace in the city. What we saw in Kenosha, Wisconsin, again, is you saw federal uh, help come into that area, and we did see a noticeable right. difference when they came in. So this president's always willing to help, and he's going to show up, and he'll be there tomorrow. So, uh, Kaylee, will he uh, meet with Jacob uh, Blake's family? I know he did, they said, they, someone said you had an effort to reach out, haven't connected yet. What could you tell us on that? Yeah, we are efforting outreach. I uh, have not been able to connect yet. So tomorrow, the plan is so far uh, to go and to meet with law enforcement uh, to look at some of the damage from the riots. But we are holding um, his family close to our hearts. Um, and this president, as I said, we've efforted outreach. And once I have an update, we'll be sure to get back to you. Okie doke. Um, it sounds like there are a number of people in Washington on the Republican side who, after the RNC there at the White House, which also had music that night, uh, after that, <laughs> they were, you know, these uh, protesters, uh, agitators got into a bunch of people's faces. And uh, Senator Rand Paul was on our program on Friday. Uh, Ken Buck, the Colorado uh, congressman, he is asking the Justice Department to open an investigation into who those people were who made the death threats on Rand and Kelly Paul and others because when you make a threat against a federal officer, that is a felony.
Yeah, that's right, Steve. We are wanting to look into that. We know a lot of these efforts are organized when you look across the country uh, by Antifa and other anarchists. Um, it's unacceptable. I heard Dan Bongino on your program earlier and the things being shouted at his wife. Yeah. Um, it's disgusting uh, for those who are saying this is all peace across the country, which is what the Democrats have been telling us for the last 90 days. That just simply is not the case. And now we have video evidence to prove what we've been saying all along while Democrats set deafeningly silent. Yeah, and uh, Kaylee, I guess there's a lot going on. Uh, real quick, can I just get you to weigh in on John Radcliffe not briefing uh, the House Intelligence Committee? Yeah, you know, John Radcliffe is going to do what is his statutory responsibility and make sure Congress is brief. But what we're not going to do is enable leaks uh, that are all too often done for partisan purposes. He briefed on July 31st, and within minutes, uh, there were leaks all throughout newspapers yep. by congressmen and women. So that is what he won't accept. All right, Kaylee, thank you very much.